the first step is to get used to skating on your outside edge. In addition to that, you'll also want to raise your one leg and hip up in the air. You can see here how I'm raising my hip and I'm going to do it a little higher this time. You see I'm explaining, I'm showing here how you tilt your hip. So here is where I do it much higher. So you see that position then you get into a spin. You want to get into that position on your outside edge and then you enter into a spin. That's the spin part of the spin alley-oop. The next step is to learn how to spin after you ride on your outside edge. And here I'm pointing to my head and I'm trying to explain that the most crucial step here is to keep your head forward not to look down. And the reason why is because watch my arms. See how my arms sometimes tilt downward or they're not perfectly straight? This is one of the biggest blunders or the biggest mistakes that you can make in this part of the trick is when your arm starts spinning like a helicopter but not straight they start spinning spinning wildly and it starts shifting your shoulders up and down and this will essentially make your trick fail every time as you just saw so if you find yourself trying to get into it and you can't sustain that one of the biggest reasons is because your arms are not remaining level and so i'm just replaying this clip here in addition to your head and your arms you see now after I get into the trick my first of all before I even get into the trick watch here my my balance goes up and then down that's what I wanted to explain so your balance goes up and then you squat a little bit and that's how you get into the trick as you're moving forward so you let your center of balance move up your body and then down to your waist then and there's down right there and it's all a matter of being able to get into that squat position, maintaining that spin as you're moving forward. In this section, I show how you should practice spinning in one place, and you'll see a lot of mistakes here I make. You see how my arms are go or, or my shoulders are going up and down, and this is what you want to avoid. And in this, you'll see I bring my hands to my hips as a way of checking myself, and I'm trying to find the center of my blade. And you just want to make sure that your arms are spinning very level. That was a good spin. But the next spin here is not. You see my arms are moving up and down. And this is what will be the biggest mistake that you'll be faced with. So I suggest that you record yourself while practicing this. So finally, the last part of doing this trick is that you want to form a hook in the ice so after you've done your spin you have to get out of that spin by straightening yourself out so you hook straighten yourself out and then put your leg up in front of you otherwise you'll continue into a, um, a, a continual spin next step to learn is the hook which is part of the alley-oop the entire alley-oop is with when you throw your uh, foot up in the air but the first part that starts the alley-oop is the hook and you can see here I'm practicing the hook. The hook is what allows you to get out of the spin and set yourself up to throw your foot up in the air like a swing dance kick. So I'm throwing my foot up high and then I lower my balance as I'm putting my foot behind me and I pull out in a straight line. And here's the example I'm going to show in slow motion. See watch here as I enter into the trick. I'm only doing one spin by the way. Uh, as opposed to multiple. See how my foot comes behind me and then I pull out in a straight line. Again watch this foot as you're spinning should be by the other foot but once you want to come out of the spin you pull it behind you and then you're able to set up for the kick. 
and important here is watch my arms see how I'm ducking behind and I'm putting one arm forward and the other behind me this allows me to pull out into a straight line and will that set me up for the next section of the trick so in this section here I show the whole thing with more spin and what's notable here is what's happening with my left arm and my leg that's my supporting foot that's in the air see watch my arms as I pull them in a straight line and then I drag my foot behind so when you're entering the trick see here how my foot is next to the other foot that keeps you in the spin but watch what happens I pull that around and I extend it behind me as my one left arm is extended in front of me and that's what sets me up for the next part of this trick here's a common mistake that I want to point out to you you have to keep your head forward and use it for spotting and also keep your arms so that they're spinning straight see how my shoulders were out of control and I was not spotting correctly it was almost as if my head was tilting and that is what screwed up this whole section of the trick make sure that everything is even so tip one do not rush the takeoff otherwise it'll screw you up your spin don't rush it and tip two is uh, when you're doing your hook, you gotta get your foot on the ice sideways. So to practice the last step, which is bringing your foot up, you need to do it slowly and simulate the actual movement. And you can do this as you had just seen there. You can do the last step and actually eradicate the spin itself. So here you'll see I'm just doing the last movement and I'm doing a swing dance kick after the hook. So it basically follows, there's a straight line and then up. See how my center of balance comes from my hips up to my shoulders. You can see how my arms lift up in the air to accommodate for the shift of weight. So when your foot is out in front of you right there, your weight is shifted up from your hip to your shoulders and then back down again. And you can let your arms automatically help you balance for this. So here's the last technique I'm going to go over in slow motion. Here comes your leg around. Watch my arms. Is that arm position forward, backward? And then up for the swing dance kick. And you can see how I had lifted my left arm upward. So watch my left arm. My left arm is there. And then it follows my foot. And my right arm actually lifts up as well. For you, know, for, you for yourself, and any other skater learning this, your arms could be different, it really doesn't matter as long as you use your arms to help you uh, sh when your weight shifts from, down from a downward position from here up in the air. And that foot comes back around, see how it comes around and then kicks up, gets some air and then it comes back down again and the trick ends.